All right, this is part four of the artifact cleanup process. I'm trying to keep these videos not super long to, you know, give everyone a break between them. I'm hoping this will be the last, if not the second to last video. I know these are taking a while, but it's important. And we're almost near the end of this guy anyway, so it's not like we have a ton to do after this. So yeah, let's just uh, keep continuing on. Most of these are very minor problems. We're not going to concern ourselves with. We're concerned about shading, of course. Uh, and here it looks like we have some bad normal. So let's select everything in edit mode, press the A key, shift N to recalculate. And now we should be good to go. That one looks good. So this piece right here doesn't have too many issues, but there are some that definitely need taken care of. First of all, this one. This one's quite interesting. I already know exactly what the problem is here. Um, let's see. We need to move this down now, don't we? Way too close to the edge. And this button here is kind of just hanging out. So I'm going to move this over a bit as well. And then we'll recall the cutter for the piece next to it. And just move it back a little bit. Kind of like that. And now we just have some more space between those two. You can, you know, move it around however you want. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky. Let me go in here and let's see where the problem's stemming from. Right here, I see it. Interesting, we have like a lot of weird issues going on in that one. I think the problem is that this piece has the secondary bevel hitting it as well. Uh, something of the sort, very interesting. So this one's also hopping into the play. Let's maybe increase the angle a little bit. This one was at 16, which was too small. Let's try popping that up a bit more. Something like 20 should be okay. And it looks like that fixed the issue. So you're gonna run into all sorts of weird and seemingly complex issues as you go through these types of things. But just know that most of the time it's either just a simple Boolean cleanup or something in the modifier stack needs adjusting. Uh, generally, it could be the angle, the location in the stack, it could be all sorts of things which you need to diagnose on your own. And you know, topology is one of the big ones and Ryu and I really wanted to focus a lot on topology in this course because uh, topology, although not the most exciting thing, is crucial if you want to get clean models. You need to learn how to uh, manage topology, work with it, fix it, and we really hope, if anything, that this course delivered on the topology fundamentals and how to work with it. Okay, this piece right here could probably be fixed if we go to mod scroll, scale this up on the Z a little bit. Maybe that's not the issue, it might just be a connection issue. Yep, it looks like we just have a terrible connection point, unfortunately. Uh, we could recall this real quick and try moving this down in between that edge and just see how that looks. Only issue is it now kind of disturbed the curvature there and made a harsh edge. So let's, um, which one is it? This guy, let's just apply it and then fix it manually. So you can kind of see this connection point is really impractical. So what we could do instead is, let's find a better connection point. Maybe from here to here, dissolve this one out, make sure that didn't really hurt anything. Looks like it was fine, it passed through this one fine as well. So I think we're good on that department. We also have a stretch right here. Um, we need to probably apply a weld modifier. Yeah, that one's kind of weird. So we'll just add a weld modifier. And interestingly enough, the weld flips some problems in there. You know what? Let's go in and apply, which booleans are these? Let's apply both of these booleans here. I'm going to move the mirror down to the bottom. We'll apply this one and then apply this one. And we'll just merge that one manually. That's fine. And now we should be good to go. Let's check over here. We can probably go ahead and apply this guy as well. Which one is it? This piece. We'll just apply it and do some manual cleanup on this one. So these connection points are absolutely terrible. We need to find a better location for it. What I'm going to do is simply run a knife cut from here to here, dissolve this one out. Um, these can probably be dissolved out now, um, this one at least. If not, we can just keep running some 
knife cuts from here to here, knife cut from here to here, and then another one from here to here. And now we should be able to dissolve out all these problematic Boolean locations, just dissolve those guys out, and uh, now it's looking good. So I don't see any more big ones. Most of these are very tiny and not worth your time. So this one is pretty noticeable though. Let's take a look. I see the problem. We can probably just move this edge over just a tad little bit and just move that out of the way. That should be fine. This one in here, you probably won't be able to see, but you know, just for good measure, what we're gonna do is dissolve those pieces out just because we're you know close enough to it to do it the eye should be okay we can just check in rendered view to be sure turn off face orientation and go into rendered view and see how it looks and yeah this one doesn't look like it's a huge issue I don't even see the problem in rendered view so we're gonna leave it alone like I said some of these can be false positives or just indicate something that you just physically can't see so we're gonna leave it alone and here what is this this is on the inside let's leave that alone as well back here like I said before when we went over this this is definitely a problem we're definitely not gonna leave this alright so I'm kind of dreading fixing this one but what else are we gonna do you know let's go into wireframe and just kind of take a look I already see exactly what the issue is I'm gonna go mod scroll and scale this down. It's because this piece is passing through these edges. You know what? Um, I have an alternate solution. So which booleans are these? Let me scroll through and find out. So these little knobs right here are boolean 006. Okay, so now that we know that, let me turn that off for a second. And you're gonna see we have these edges connected, right? The issue is that boolean is basically connecting through all these edges here and is causing a mess. What we're going to do is dissolve them out and we're just going to connect it up. Actually we might not even need to. Let's just take a look. Let's dissolve these guys out. Okay so yeah we need two connection points for these pieces here so we're going to make the connection from here to here and then from here to here if I can select it instead and I'll dissolve these two out so now if we turn back on those little knobs it should be a lot cleaner well maybe not a lot cleaner but that's because now we have an overlap no big deal we're gonna select them go into edit mode and let's scale on the individual origins we'll go up here turn that on and then just scale it down a little bit until most of those artifacts go away this one doesn't seem to be doing too well. I just don't think we have enough space on this guy really. So, you know, the option is to drop the bevel. Um, you could make this have more space, scale it inwards. You could do all sorts of things really. But at the end of the day, I think it's better to just use a decal in this circumstance. This is a very unique circumstance and it's just gonna be very, very finicky to mess with. So I'm gonna delete these out. We're gonna use decals for this instead, which shouldn't really hurt us too much but uh, this is just too small of an area to work with a boolean so I'm gonna leave it alone and most of this is um, you know not too bad we have a few issues here and there maybe move that one out a bit without going destructive move this one out a bit and you know most of these can be fixed with a few vert slides then you're done uh, this problem here looks like it's on the back side we can check in rendered view to see if it's an actual issue turn off face orientation yeah, I can kind of see it. Not that you're going to actually see it from a distance, but you know, it's the principle that counts. There might be a duplicate edge in here that we just don't need. Like right there we had one. Let me merge these down. Let me isolate the view here as well and see exactly what's causing that. Because I honestly am not too sure. I think it's just because of how skinny this backside is. So let me go back into global view for a second and see how it's connected. We could probably, hmm, interesting. Alt H, did we have this piece hidden or something? No, I think it's just the booleans working um, non-destructively. We're just gonna apply those booleans with smart apply. And the issue here is that these edges are just overlapping immediately, basically. So I'm gonna delete out these faces here. 
and oh goodness let me hide those too many cutters in the scene okay we'll go back to face orientation and that should be fixed like I said for faces you'll never see it's more than okay to delete out the faces depending on the situation so I'm just gonna pan around this thing and look for any big red spots not the tiny little spectacles which like I said most of those are false positives you can zoom in and go into render view and look for yourself and you're gonna see even if we zoom out really far it starts going crazy they're all um, they're, they're pretty much false positives you're not gonna see them in rendered view you're not gonna see them at all as a matter of fact it's probably like a slight little um, intricate location of the bevel that's causing that to appear uh, something once again that you'll never notice so I'm only concerned with the big ones like this the ones that actually have clear issues so we'll dissolve that one out and slide that down a bit same with over here we need to slide this down a bit and then dissolve this piece out check around I see one down here as well let's take care of this slide this piece up maybe merge that together and maybe merge that piece down even though we can't see it okay so I don't see any massive issues around here on the bottom of this piece what is this I do see something in the corner here so we'll just slide those verts in to fix that and most of these problems stem from just really close vertices that we just didn't bother with earlier in the course or that we just neglected to fix but that's why I always try to go over these things towards the end of my models because it's easy enough this one here I was looking at it this one here looks a little bit hectic remember when we had to apply the bevel to use data transfer and then we had to apply another bevel earlier and we made this cut to make space for this piece we had to apply another bevel just to get this edge a little bit rounded off well this went ballistic I don't even want to attempt to patch that up so we're just going to into um, finesse it a little bit we're going to come in here with the end gone cutter we'll set it to view I'm going to come up here and why is it cutting from that location you know what we'll do we'll just set it to this object come in here chop that piece off and let's apply that boolean see how it looks okay now before we apply another bevel let's get in here and make sure it's clean beforehand so get rid of any near edges that might cause conflict now we can hop in here with a bevel make it very very tiny and let's actually control shift click so that way it's only affecting this side with a higher angle give it a very tiny bevel there and for any of these minor issues we can just go in and move these out a bit and there we go now if you want a bigger bevel you might have to make some more compromises because you know if we go higher on this bevel it's gonna start giving some problems over here in this area because the angle happens to be picking up so it's kinda of all up to you how you want to deal with that situation what you could do is you know remove the bevel weight off of this whole thing like we don't even need the sharps or bevel weights anymore since everything's applied so what you could do is unmark everything and for some reason we have creases applied too we don't even need creases yeah you could unmark everything and it's gonna be fine um, maybe not for the data transfer as a matter of fact so maybe we do need to keep it I think the data transfer there might have some influence so maybe not that but we should be fine to remove the bevel weight at least so if we do that the data transfer will still stay so if you can remove the bevel weight just select everything go to mean bevel weight with the N key in the item panel put that to zero so now what we could do is put a mean bevel weight on these edges here right and just increase the mean bevel weight to one and now on here we can change the limit method over to weight and now we're going to have some more control over this area only still a little bit messy but we can probably get in here and slide this out a bit slide this out a bit maybe trying to find a compromise for this one maybe dissolve out these edges here dissolve that one out this is just a very unique situation in which we have a very finicky bevel going on 
and kind of see. We can pull that out a bit or dissolve this one out like there's so many different situations that would get the job done. I'll just drop the bevel a tad bit and it's still gonna look the same. So yeah, we're kind of, you know, reaching for straws here. We're not really doing anything super practical. It's not like you're gonna ever really see this piece, but I'm just trying to be consistent with everything. So I'm just gonna take one more look over the rest of this. I don't see any massive issues. Maybe right here, this might be a problem. Let's um, just go in here. We might as well just apply this guy. Which one is this? We'll just scroll through and find it. So it looks like it is, you know what? Smart apply. Just gonna get the job done the easy way. Okay, this connection point's terrible. Let's um, connect it here instead. I'm surprised it just didn't connect there by default, but lo and behold, that is the automatic Boolean for you. Maybe one day we'll have a better connection. Anyways, that looks a lot better. That's the only big one I saw anymore. One more quick pan around, then we're gonna go into rendered view and just kind of take a look at different angles. But I think this thing is gonna be pretty darn good for a render. So let me turn off the face orientation. We took care of all the big issues and now what we're gonna do is hop into rendered view. Wait for that to load up. And of course we still have to do our decals, but decaling is the fun part. I love doing decals, I think you will as well. Um, but for now I just kinda wanna pan around. This thing looks really, really nice. Now there's a miss of lights. I must have gotten rid of them by accident, but don't worry, we can add those back in maybe. We'll just do a tutorial on the next one for that because we need to add in more emissive lights anyways. But this guy is looking pretty cool.